Friends, good morning and welcome to my channel. Welcome back if you're not new. My name is Jesslyn Revel. I am a wife, a mom, and a ninth year junior high teacher in Southeast Louisiana. And we are working in our classroom once again today. So how was everyone's weekend? How was it? So here's what we're doing. I'm back at it again with another classroom setup. This is technically day three. I'm noticing as I look around my room, a lot of things have fallen off the walls or like low key disappeared. I don't know. So the goal today, I have my desk chair. I need to set it up. I have a plethora of trash that needs to be taken to the dumpster, but I do need to find a custodial worker first to see if I can borrow a dolly. Um, I may start printing out things for the behavior bingo board, which is in the front of the room. I might set up my other board and worst comes to worst, if I have time today, I'll sort through some of those library books. It's a lot of them. I just don't know how I'm going to separate them. I don't want to separate them by levels. They are already leveled, which is great. But as a kid who was always on a really high reading level growing up, I couldn't read books that I thought were low-key interesting because they were lower leveled. I say lower level, like, let's say I was in the sixth grade. I wanted to read a book that was on the sixth grade, sixth grade level, but I was technically like an 11th grade level. So I had to read those kind of books. That's, don't get me started on the AR system. But anyway, um, I'm going to sort through those books. I don't know how I want to separate them. So if you have any suggestions, feel free to tell me. Do I separate them by genre? Do I separate them by author? Like, what do I, what do I do? Like, I don't know. So, y'all, before I start, let's be real for a second. Let, let's get real. Come in. Come in for a second. I first want to thank all of you, all of my new subscribers. I have over 380, which to the girl who started her YouTube channel as a video diary because she had a lot of depression and anxiety and I wasn't expecting anybody to follow me. That's kind of a big deal to me. So I do wanna thank you guys for coming along on this crazy yet beautiful journey called my career. Um, secondly, thank you guys for watching my video. There's a bunch more of you who watch it then follow, which I'm not mad, but I, I do appreciate you guys watching the struggle because sometimes the struggle is real. And then lastly, you know the old saying, like I'm too blessed to be stressed. Baby, you can be blessed and stressed. What do you mean, Rev? Let me tell you. So I'm blessed. I wake up every morning. I have a beautiful family. I have a career. I'm healthy not wealthy, but I have what I need. I don't I don't go without. I don't want for nothing. I don't want for anything. But y'all, my kid was sick again. We just got over RSV. Last week we had hand, foot, and mouth disease. Like I'm starting to wonder if like daycare's worth it. Oh, and now my husband's sick, so it's a never ending it's like a revolving door of sicknesses at the Revel House. So send up some, if you are the praying type, send up some prayers for the husband because you know, sickness really hit the men harder than us women. Mm -hmm. So here's what we're gonna do today. I bought my lamp from home that used to be in my classroom and then I took it home to put it in the baby's nursery and now it's back because he doesn't use it. I, hello, I, um, in the corner corner of my room, I had a little poster right here, fell down. The seven on the bulletin board was down this morning. The zero, I don't even know if y'all can see that from here. Oh, cause it's on the opposite side. The zero on my voice thingy, literally falling off. Um. Tables are still a mess. I'm not getting my organizational bins in until like tomorrow. 
And tomorrow I have cheer practice, so I don't see myself working in my classroom just to go to cheer practice in the afternoon. That's just a lot of work. So I'm gonna try to get as much as I can done today with the time and the resources that I have. And I will bring you guys along with me, so stay tuned, buckle up. Let's go for a ride, baby. Let's go. chair woo so I stopped filming because y'all struggling and then my co-worker came in so I was talking to her but still a lot to do so chair check I don't know what I'm doing next stay tuned so I worked on hanging up my little framework of discovery timeline so to speak and I organized my desk a little bit more all this stuff on the top goes in my little Sterilite shoebox containers that are coming in tomorrow also a bunch of stuff that goes in the teacher toolbox which comes in today but I don't know what else to work on I think I'm gonna start printing up stuff to hang up on the bulletin boards I have the behavior bingo stuff that I need to put up. I have everything for this bulletin board. I say everything, it's like an information board. So that needs to go up with the little bit that I do have. And then I think I'm gonna call it a day. Maybe hang up one or two more posters, but for the most part, everything's done. The big stuff's done. The organizing needs to be done. The library needs to be done, which I said I might try to put books in like their own little space but i don't know what to put them in like how to organize them and then i'm getting bookshelves next week so i don't want to do this it's pouring down i just want to go home i want to go home let's get it done so labels are printed i'm currently sitting on the floor in my room um getting ready to laminate the labels. Now, I do have a scotch laminator, you know, labels, all that good stuff. I typically don't use the little laminator. We have a ginormous one in the workroom that I use, but another teacher's using it, and it's like literally three things I need to laminate, three pages I need to laminate. It would take forever to warm up the big laminator. So that's where we're at right now. I'm gonna laminate the labels, put the labels on the Ikea bins that I have right here. And that's just like the class period number. So that, that's where they turn in their, or their turn in bin. And then I have this three drawer cart, not cart, this three drawer thing. And I just redid the labels to make them a little bit bigger hopefully that will go in my student center which I plan on putting a bookshelf right here in front of the room and putting that on it so all of that it takes forever to warm up this laminator too so catch you in a few okay <laughs> Use a big laminator to laminate all of my stuff for my behavior bingo board. 
and now I need to cut that out and hopefully make the bulletin board today. So, once again, not my favorite thing to do. Like I, I use my small laminator for the labels because it wasn't a lot. Chances are, and I, I hate even saying this, because I'm not one of those teachers, it's like, everything's gotta match. Because I just, at the end of the day, like, I've never had a junior high student look at me and say, Miss Rev, your classroom, ew, it doesn't match, the color scheme's off. Never had that. But loud neon colors tend to bother my eyes because I'm visually impaired too, like, add that to the list of things so like I've really bright yellow brightish kind of purple blue and green but also I want the kids to be able to see it like I want it I don't want it to blend in I need it to stand out because then that's their way of seeing that like hey behavior management you gotta get this right which I don't typically have knock on wood I don't typically have crazy behavior issues, you know. I'm I'm fortunate that I can I can handle my own for most. Because let's be real, I'm petty. It's the key to being a good junior high teacher, you gotta be a little petty like them. So I tend to not have too many issues. Do I have issues? Yes. Every teacher has behavior issues. You'd be lying if you say you didn't have any at all. But for the most part, the kids understand me. I understand them. Respect goes both ways, baby. You give me respect, I'm gonna give it back to you, and we're gonna be good. Or like the kids say, we're gonna be Gucci. Okay? So, I'm gonna cut these out. I'm not gonna make you watch me do this because God knows it's gonna take forever. Like, it's already after one o'clock, and I really don't feel like I've made a dent on my classroom today. So, I'll do this, and then, Cut next scene, you're gonna watch me put it up on the board. not fun to make. So here's my dilemma. I'm not really fond of the letters. I'm not fond of the color of the paper. It's just like, it seems dumb to most people, but it seems very Mardi Gras-ish to me. If you're from Louisiana, if you know, you know. It just feels like Mardi Gras and I'm just. So I need help actually. If you guys have a silhouette, I have a silhouette cameo for and I don't know how to use it. I watched numerous YouTube videos. Nothing works um, for me. If you know how to use a Silhouette Cameo 4 to punch out bulletin board letters, let me know. Or point me in the direction because your girl's struggling. That took way longer than it needed to. It's after 2 o'clock. And once again, like I feel like I didn't do much today. And that's just not a good way to go into a new week of pretty much the last big setup I'll be able to do until school starts, you know? <sighs> Jesus be a fence. I have a headache. I'm hungry. I'm tired. Couple more things I wanna do and then we gonna make like a baby and head out. Even though my baby didn't do that, you know, C-section baby. But um, let's get my last couple things done and then we can roll out. Let's do that. Mm. Mm -mm. Okay, my friends, I am done for today. Today was not as good as the day as I hoped it was gonna be, but 
we did the darn thing. So I'm going to show you guys what I did work on today. A few things that I did, what I did work on. Okay. Biggest project today. The desk chair is complete. I did hang up my hanging file for each class on the wall. Desk is nice and organized. The start of my little... I just call it like an information board pretty much. I'm going to write my criteria, my credentials in here. It's my data for the kids to see their benchmark stuff, their averages as a class. Um, carts in the side right here. My little framework discovery science thing is posted. I did take down the washi tape on each side. I'm going to put some new washi tape. Um, this board is still the same. This desk is leaving. I worked on my behavior bingo board today. Not too fond of the Mardi Gras colors, but it'll do. I'm in the process of getting ready to redo the main board. Remember, if you know how to use a silhouette to cut out letters, help you girl out, cause she don't know how to do that. Um, desks are still kind of like crazy, but they're separated into like usable piles. My bin should be coming in tomorrow. Thank the good Lord. So like you can see, it's still kind of like a little junky. My rules and procedures are still up on the wall. I added my lamp and another little poster. The biggest mistakes you could ever make is being too afraid to make one. If I could summarize junior high, that's what I would summarize it as. So that's the room for today. Friends, people, thank you guys for watching my video. Thank you for sticking with it. It was kind of a frustrating day for me because everyone at the house is sick and I just don't feel like doing this because I'd rather literally be at home taking care of my family. But anywho, thank you guys for watching. Remember, subscribe, be my friend. I'm good people. I like to have fun. You can join the family. Um... Other than that, I will catch you guys when I work in my classroom again. I don't know when that's going to be. I have a lot of stuff coming up. But thank you. And I hope to see you soon. I'll see you in the next one. Boo. Bye.